Hey guys, I'm starting up a new series. Uh, this series is going to involve me playing every Nintendo game uh, for five minutes at a time and deciding if they're a zero or a one after five minutes of play. Um, this is actually the second time I'm recording this video. I recorded it the first time, but I had my audio all mixed up, so my audio was coming out of here, and then you couldn't hear it. So, I've actually, I'm going to do five games today, from 1943 to Abadox, The Deadly Inner War. Um, so I actually did play these games already for five minutes each, so I know how to play them. Next time I do this, uh, I will not have played most of the games. So, but yeah, here we go. I'm going to start the countdown. I'm going to give it a five minute play, and then uh, decide if it's any good. I'm playing with my uh, trusty Xbox controller here. Alright, this is 1943. This is an arcade game, arcade port. Okay, man, just go all, all offense. That's what it's all about. But yeah, so in the beginning of this game, you actually get to uh, pick. You get to pick what kind of power ups you want. Sort of like off road. So, I'm uh, usually not as good as I'm going to be right now, but this is my second time playing, so I'm going to do pretty good, I bet. I notice the bottom right, that's where your energy is, and that just seems to go down on its own, which is really annoying. So you got to, like, find these power-ups to get your energy back, or else you're just going to, like, burn up. If you shoot the POWs, they turn into this, like, bubble thing, and then if you get the bubble thing, it's a temporary bonus. Which gives you these like power ups, but it's only temporary and it kind of sucks. So I tend not to get it. But I'm not sure if just power actually powers up my weapon or not. You can't really tell because it doesn't change your weapon at all. It's also get it so you see what I'm doing. See, so now I get this. Which seems like it's pretty good, but you can't shoot it as fast and it does way less damage. Although it does kill a lot of dudes at once. Like, watch how long it takes me to kill this green plane. Oh, I got a power-up. Now I do it even more. I never done this before. Now, uh... Oh, wow, it was close. If I hit the A button... I'll do it in a second, actually, because I don't want to. I do this lightning bolt thing, which kills everything. And if I hit A and B at the same time... I'll actually do that in a second, so... Visual contact with surface forces confirmed. Commencing attack. Watch if I go like this, then I do this like spiral move, and then I land and I blow everything up. So that's pretty pretty epic. But then when you do that, you actually lose life, so. So that's pretty stupid. That's what that is. I hate losing life when you use special powers, it's such a bad mechanic. Because, like, you know, you want to do the move. And they won't let you. They're like, no, we're gonna make, we're gonna, like, if I'm flying around to avoid a bullet, but I lose life anyway, I might as well get hit by the bullet. You know, like, what, there's no point. Alright, there's a boss now. It took me, like, a lot of tries to get to this boss the first time I played, but now I'm gonna do pretty good now. This is domination right now. I'm actually gonna get to level 2 in this 5 minute run. That's it. Amateur battleship. Oh. It's gonna be funny if that shrapnel killed me. Mission 1 clear. That's a pretty cool looking explosion animation right there. Nice, man. So, three and a half minutes, beat the first level. That's about typical for a shooter, I suppose. Then I get to level up my ship. Target Kaku fight. Kaku fight? Pretty close to Kaka fight, I should think. Maybe power just makes you shoot your gun faster. I feel like I'm shooting like at a much higher rate than before. Oh, it's like, it looks like it's, it's sunset or something. Look at the orange ripples. That's pretty nice. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this guy dipping. Look at this guy. He dips. Clever enemy. That's a pretty cool design. This game is pretty cool. Look at this. I mean, you can sh this, you can do power up attacks. You can do a spinning attack. There's all kinds of different airplanes. 
this is a cool shooter, and it's set in a historical setting, so you kind of, you know, relate to it, I guess. This is a World War II shooter. So I shoot enough, then that happens. I don't know what the hell that is. I'm doing special power on these guys. Can't kill these guys, they're too invasive, huh? Look at these guys, they're so smart. Pretty decent music, too. Let's check this guy, jack him. Ho oh. ho. Yeah. I could definitely see myself playing this game, what the hell is that? Oh, is this a store? Alright, well, time is up. So I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna rate the game. And that game definitely gets a 1, so I'm gonna give it 5 stars. Because that's an awesome game. Now let's start playing a little uh, World Runner 3D. Now this game, man, when I first played it, I got weirded out because, watch this, I'll just show you. Watch what happens, I hit select. Look at this. So I hit select thinking it'll help me, it'll make me shoot, and no, it turns on like 3D mode. But I don't even know how this is even 3D because of that ridiculous flicker. Like, alright. So check this game out, it's like, it took me forever to figure this out because you can't actually shoot, even though there's definitely enemies everywhere that and you feel like you want to be shooting. Kind of like the game Space Harrier, right? This is like Space Harrier. No, all you do is run forward and jump over holes. And avoid these bad guys, I suppose. You can you can run side to side, but I don't know why you would. Because you only need to run forward and jump. Okay. <laughs> this music makes you want to run, doesn't it? You gotta run. Forward makes you run faster and, like, be neutral. You can run backwards. So I can only forward to go fast. Some of the tricks, like they're another tricky, so you gotta back up. So you kind of just run around. It's not too exciting. Um, later, you start getting these stars. You gotta get. So there's a star. So you gotta pick these up. Oh, I missed. That's a balloon. You gotta get the balloon. I'm pretty sure. I how to get these ones that are in the air. It's too hard. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There's a balloon. So I got the balloon. Now I go off to some other level. Oh, I see. And you gotta, it's like a bonus round. We gotta collect stars. That's it. It's like a weird bonus round. Now I'm in level 2, or world 1, level 2. Back to running, looking for that balloon. It's, you know, I don't know, the game's not so bad. I mean, the, the controls are, you gotta used to them a little bit, but they're pretty good once you do, because you can jump, like, any amount of, any height you want. You can go up and right really well. As far as, like, the 3D effects are actually pretty darn interesting. I would definitely be showing this game off to my friends if this is back in the, you know, Nintendo day. This is different than most other shit you'll see. I mean, it's pretty mind-numbing, though. Just running around. Where's the stars? Some of these brawly polys. Where's all the holes? I'm like... World Runner. <laughs> Pretty weird game. Jeez. Uh oh. What? Oh, now I can shoot! Oh, wait a minute, this game just got intense. I can't tell if. I can't tell where, like, what dimension he's in. Did I win? What the hell's going on? Did I win? Did you give me the peace sign? Whoa! Okay, you can shoot, just not all the time. You only whip your gun out when the enemies are around. Okay, now I'm on the moon or something. Hey, you know what? I changed my mind. This game is pretty cool. Well, I did. I never changed my mind. I gave it a one the first time too, but 
Now I especially give it a 1 because I beat the first boss and now it, that was really fun. How many stars do I need? Oh shit. Oh, it's a... Like look at that monster. Hmm. Square. What did you say square? What, I start at the beginning? You got like no... Oh, I did lose a couple of lives, didn't I? Well, alright, I'm not going to do that again. But yeah, that was a good game. Let's pause that. Or restart it. Pause it now. No, 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 what the hell? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> alright, I'm going to give that five stars. And uh, one out of one. Now here's a game. This seems to be some kind of a prequel to... To Skate or Die. I say that because they actually say Skate or Die in this game. And it's a skateboarding game. But I actually know how to play it now. So the blue stuff here is water. And if you go in the water, you, you... I'm not sure if you actually die or not, but you don't like it. So, on the, the, the yellow things are where you want to go. So downhill ramp, slalom, and jump. That's where you got to be going. And there you got to perform an event. I don't like that. You got to perform an event there. Oh, we got traffic. We got traffic out of the street. Oh! <laughs> Like, he didn't see me. What a reckless driver. I'm glad it doesn't hurt me. Look at the smile on his face. Look at that dopey smile on his face. Hey, I like skateboarding on the street. Ooh. Look at this guy. Bodybuilder, baby. Alright. So here's a slalom. Now you gotta perform this event. I guess it doesn't matter what direction you're going. Skateboarding, this is like I'm snowboarding. Oh yeah, I'm definitely doing really great. A gold medal! <laughs> Went the wrong way through all of them. Alright. So I got a slalom badge in my skateboard now. Yeah, great. So now I just go to the next event, which is on the other corner. Jump. Oh, I fell. What happened? Have a nice day. Did I spend money? I think I'm supposed to buy, like, a new skateboard and shoes and a helmet and, like, items like this. Oh, this guy gave me the creeps. Look at this guy. What is that supposed to be? Skate or die, it says. Now, in skater, when it says skate or die, they send, like, killer bees after you. And if the bees sting you, then you die. Alright, we're doing jump. Last time I did jump, I did real bad. I guess that was a jump. Gold medal. Bronze. Hmm. I guess I got some work to do, practicing my skateboarding skills. Look at this guy's smile. He seems like a real nice guy. He's a real nice protagonist in this game. Closed. They're just waiting for me. about to come up to the board store, I guess. So I'll go to the board store and see if I can get a new board. Oh, more so I want to race. I want to race. Well, that guy looks like he's having a horrible time. Did I win? Star doesn't even do anything. Okay, so I gotta get a board? I don't know. Whatever. I don't even want to touch the map. Where's my... The downhill. Here we go. This is actually a pretty fun one. This game reminds me a lot of uh, American Gladiators. Okay. Not bad at all. Gold medal. Yeah, real good. You know, like the Amer American Gladiators has like a lot of uh, events you can do. And you know, you'll see me play that game. I love that game. It's one of my favorites. All I do now is go to the ramp, but I'm not going to have time, I don't think. 
What the hell hit me? I wasn't even close to anybody. Look at this. Look at the abs in that bitch. Shoot. Hang time I get on my jumps. Oh, water. Ooh! Call that a grind, baby. Yeah, you know. This game is, uh... I don't know. I'll probably give it a zero. So, that's, that's a zero. That's a one. That's what we're gonna do. Alright. Here we go. Time to play Eight Eyes. Now, this game I'm actually pretty excited to play because it reminded me a lot of Castlevania. Initiate. You get a pick where you want to go. What the hell is this? Africa. Look at this guy. Uh-huh. It's like Castlevania, except for you can't kill the candles. Look how, how much this candle want me to hit it right now. And it doesn't even do anything. That's so dumb. This game's kind of cool, like... Falling doesn't... Falling doesn't, like, hurt you. It's like you're supposed to go down sometimes. Last time I went to Germany instead of Africa, and the music was totally different, so that's pretty cool. This is, like, ethnic... It kind of sounds African music, right? I don't want to say ethnic, but it's African. It sounds more Egyptian, though. It's like the world kind of repeats until you find the right way to go. There's definitely something to it. See, I keep on, like, finding the same shit, so I'm going to go up the stairs, I guess. bird on my shoulder. Look, it's just repeating right now. So I gotta find, like, a secret. I can't break this, though. I'm not really sure what this game's deal is. I mean, it... doing some stuff right, but this is like, the enemies will hit you out of nowhere, so that's really frustrating, right off the bat. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? My bird gets hurt. My bird doesn't seem to do anything, so I'm going to fly around like an asshole. I'm getting pissed now. Start this game. I seem to have had more fun when I didn't go to Africa. Let's go to India now. Okay, we're going to India. Oh, look at this Sultan. Oh, shit. New music, so that's really cool. I like how the music is different for every place. Oh my god, an Ewa! I mean, a Jawa. Look at that Jawa from Star Wars. Is that not a Jawa right there? Okay, let's go up there and handle some business. Oh, Jesus! I have nightmares about that guy. So I'm going to tell you this right now. Down and jump is how you throw your power-ups. Took me forever to figure that out. Time door that's advanced. This very Prince of Persia like. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Come on, man. It's bullshit. So maybe you gotta do these levels in a certain order, although I don't know how you're supposed to know what the hell the order is. Look at my bird on my shoulder. But yeah, this game I'll definitely, uh, oh, it's a timed gate. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh! Oh. 
the hell kind of time gate is that? I'm supposed to do that shit. So the other places are like puzzle, like like mazes, and this one seems to be more of a puzzle. You got to figure out how to. Okay, go down the stairs. <laughs> like slide down the stairs. Well, that's not enough time at all. Can I tell my bird to do it? Alright. Well, this game's definitely got a lot to it, I could tell. So I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 1. Super. Alright, and that brings us to uh, Abadox, the Deadly Inner War. Now this game, it's uh, it seems like it's taking place inside some kind of an organism. And it's a shooter, obviously. But I played this one uh, a few times. I mean, just today, you know, just like during my first recording. And I learned that instead of just I could just spray my bullets like this, that's dumb. You want to only shoot them when you're gonna hit something. It seems to be much more successful. Oh my god, the skeletons! Oh my god! But yeah, it's a pretty cool shooter. It's an interesting concept. It's like you're in some kind of body, like fighting off disease or something. I think. I mean, look at the grounds made out of worms. You got big, gross, like monsters attacking you. Yeah, like this one shot, one kill. That's where it's at. these little things rolling around me, they like, they kill stuff for me. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this game's pretty cool. You like, fly around with your little mech, you get a bunch of cool power-ups. I'm about to fight a really weird boss in a second. This demonic dog. That sounds really familiar. It's in Contra or something. That ting, ting, metal sound. Uh oh. Oh my god, what the hell? Look at this. It's a tongue. Wow, the droplets from the, from the sky hurt you? That's so annoying. Look at my guy's little feet dangle when he shoots. Look at his little feet move. Jesus. I'm really unhappy that I lost my power-ups because this is pretty dumb right now. God, this is not a joke right now. Okay, good, there we go. Alright, so these droplets hurt you. What a crock. Does this glowing as I'm, is like a star? Am I like, am I starring right now? Or do I have like a free hit? Maybe it's a free hit. Good, I'm happy. I'm, I'm feel confident when I got my little, little spirally thing. So it's like I'm some kind of a. Oh, oh, oh. okay, okay. Shoot. I'm not doing any damage to anything. Oh wow, I gotta precisely hit him in the eye. 
That's pretty, pretty intense, actually. Get your face. Ah! Continue our game over. Well, yeah, that game is pretty cool. So that's a pretty great shooter. That gets a one out of one. So look at that. Uh, went through five games. Four of them are, are good. I will call them good. I would be happy to have any of those four games if I was a kid. So that was volume one of my uh, play every Nintendo game ever. And I think it went pretty smoothly. Uh... Let me know if you have any tips or suggestions for me. Please tell me. I do want to kind of keep this going as an ongoing, th ongoing thing. You know, tell me what you think. I I'm having fun. Thanks for watching.